Creo Automatic Water Exchange Module Product Components. Explosion Proof Pipe, Clean Water T Joint, Cap, Washer, Wrench. Let the water run until it is clear and verify again. It is the cold water pipe. Close the cold water valve and use the tool to twist off the soft pipe connected to it. Use a wrench to tighten the T-joints pipe and cap. Make sure the washer is installed here. Verify that the filter has already been installed inside. Use one wrench to hold the place where the T-joint has to be attached still. Then use another wrench to securely screw the nut onto the T-joint. Connect the explosion proof pipe to the clean water T-joint. Tighten the explosion proof pipe by the socket wrench on it. Check that the filter is installed in the inlet pipe of the control box. Connect the other end of the explosion proof pipe to the control box. Use the socket wrench on the explosion proof pipe to tighten it clockwise. Open the top lid of the base station and remove the dirty water tank and clean water tank. Remove the protection cover. Pry off the base station protection cover. Insert the adapter into the water inlet and outlet of the base station until the inner protection cover comes out. Remove the two protective covers of the water outlet. Press on the two ends and take out the adapter. Place the automatic water exchange module vertically into the base station along the rear panel. Remove the covers and the plug, then store them safely. Put them into the base station and close the cover. Installing the clean water pipe. Insert the clean water pipe into the connector of the control box. Until the marker line cannot be seen, you are able to install the pipe in groundwater or sewer. You can use the cable tie to make the pipe fixed. Dirty water T-joint. You can remove the existing water pipe and insert the T-joint. Then, install the pipe here. Dirty water pipe. Place one end of the dirty water pipe into the T-joint. Insert until the marker disappears. Start placing the pipe in the direction of the base station. Be sure to place it along the wall. Connect the DC plug of the control box to the back of the base station. Coil up any remaining DC wire and secure it. If the pipes are too long, cut them accordingly and then connect them. Use professional pipe cutting tools when cutting the pipes. Ensure that the ends are flat and even, without burrs. If there is no extra, do not cut them, simply connect them. Connect the other ends of the clean water pipe and dirty water pipe to the corresponding adapters and insert the pipes until the marker line cannot be seen. Check the condition of the O-ring. Ensure they are intact and undamaged. Insert the adapter into the base station until you hear a click. Make sure the adapter is installed completely. You can check the two buckles on both sides of the adapter. Installation finished. Verify that the covers and one rubber plug are completely removed. And check that you have all of the removed pieces. Make sure the valve is open.
and the control box is successfully connected to the T-joint and the base station. After cleaning the base station, use a paper towel to check if there are any leaks at all of the pipe's connection points. Check that the, the clean water T-joint is not leaking water. Check for leaks at the control box. Check for leaks at the water pipe's adapter. Solution Put the novel solution into the base station. With the opening side down, test finished. Cut 23 centimeters length of the decorative pipe. Move the explosion proof pipe socket wrench to the side of T joint. Install the decorative pipe into the cable organizer. Push the decorative pipe upwards and the cable organizer downwards until finished. Install the pipeline into the cable organizer. Insert the decorative pipe into the cable organizer. Install from the base station to the water source. And cut the excess decorative pipe. Installation finished. Remove the adhesive in the backside of control box. Paste the control box in a proper place. Make sure to avoid excessive curvature of the pipeline. 